Hello everybody, NeuroGal here. Today I'm going to talk about the gut-brain connection. This is my second video on the topic based on a special request from one of my special subscribers. So today I'm gonna to talk about depression as it relates to the gut-brain connection. As I mentioned in my previous video, the gut has a mind of its own, literally. It has a whole nervous system that's dedicated to gut function and that nervous system communicates very closely with the brain and influences our mood and behavior also the microbiome within the gut the billions of bacterial cells that live within our gut and work symbiotically usually with our gut also secrete chemicals that affect brain receptors and thereby affect our behavior and mood the food that we eat influences the bacteria in our gut so the food that we eat can potentially influence our mood and behavior so what does depression have to do with all of this depression is a disabling disorder it involves feelings of hopelessness sadness discouragement and an overall lack of interest in the things that a person used to have an interest in doing people who suffer from depression also often suffer from anxiety which involves feelings of irritability unease and nervousness so depression and anxiety go hand in hand. Research shows that people with depression have different populations of bacteria in their gut compared to healthy people. So theoretically, someone can be diagnosed with depression solely on the basis of what their gut bacteria consists of. What's even more interesting is that if the bacteria from the gut of a depressed person is inserted into the gut of germ-free mice those mice develop depression-like behaviors however scientists have been unable to identify whether it's the brains of depressed individuals that send signals to the gut that result in different types of bacteria or whether it's the other way around where the bacteria in the gut send signals to the brain which cause depression there is one microorganism that has been found to change behavior in humans. It's a parasite, it's called toxoplasmosis, and this parasite spreads through cat poop. Let me explain this in a little more detail. These parasites infect rodents, so they insert themselves into the muscles of rodents, and they secrete chemicals that send signals to the brain that decrease a rat's fear response to the smell of cat urine. In fact, it causes rats to become sexually attracted to the smell of cat urine. Naturally, rodents are extremely scared of the smell of cat urine, but when they're infected with toxoplasmosis, their behavior makes them easy prey for cats. So the cats will eat them and then become infected themselves. The parasites will lay eggs in the intestines of the cats, the cats will poop out the eggs of the parasites and then some unlucky human who doesn't wash their hands will ingest it. And people who are infected with toxoplasmosis have been found to have decreased social inhibitions and are more outgoing. This is not to say that you should expose yourself to cat poop to cure your crippling social anxiety. Toxoplasmosis is harmful, especially to pregnant women, and can cause significant, severe fetal defects. I pointed out this interesting anecdote because it highlights the potential that microorganisms have to affect the brain and thereby affect humans' moods and behaviors. We don't quite know whether the bacteria in the gut can do the same thing. There have been some randomized clinical trials that show that giving humans lactobacillus, which comes from fermented foods, can decrease anxiety in people with anxiety disorders. Another study that was performed in Britain of 124 participants found that in people who were given probiotics who were more severely depressed showed significantly more improvements in their mood. This is all very promising and of course more clinical trials need to be done to confirm and reproduce these findings, but it does shed light into understanding the role that our gut microbiome has on our mood and behavior. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like this video, please leave comments, please subscribe to my channel, and 
please be sure to visit my website, neurogal.com. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.